Thank you for those inspiring words and for being such a valued member of the class of 2019. My congratulations to you and to the entire class um, for all of your efforts and your remarkable achievements. I'm Mary Story, and I'm a professor and also an associate, the Associate Director for Academic Programs at the Duke Global Health Institute. And now I have the honor of presenting three awards to our students and faculty. As you've already heard, the graduates of this class are truly exceptional. And so you can imagine how difficult it is to select among them for our awards today. Today's awardees have distinguished themselves among a very competitive field, and I'm thrilled to share with you some of their extraordinary achievements. First, I will announce the um, awardee for the Merson Award. The, the Michael Merson Undergraduate Student Leadership Award in Global Health, and it was established just last year to honor the legacy of our founding director, Dr. Michael Merson, who stepped down from this leadership role in 2017. This award recognizes a graduating Global Health student who has excelled in and outside of the classroom and has demonstrated a strong commitment to global health and health equity and social justice through extra extracurricular activities and leadership as well as scholarly activity in the classroom. This year's winner is graduating with a dual degree in public policy and global health. While at Duke, she has served as a teaching assistant for an undergraduate global health ethics course and a behavioral economics research assistant at the Robert Magolis Center for Health Policy. She also completed summer internships in New Orleans through Duke Engage and at the New Orleans Children's Advocacy Center and the Audrey Hepburn Care Center. Our awardee has published a peer-reviewed journal article based on her thesis, which explored child abuse prevention, and another author article that she co-authored is currently under review. Please help me congratulate a truly outstanding student leader, Madison Mastrangelo. Next, we will recognize the most outstanding capstone research project. All of our students take a capstone course during their senior year. They work in small teams and with outside experts to design a practical solution to a major global health challenge. These projects help students learn how to manage the many factors that come into play in implementing health interventions and health policy. And they often all really produce very creative solutions to that public health problem. This year's winning team researched and developed a comprehensive screening treatment and prevention strategy for HPV virus in Kampala, Uganda. Judges described the project as, quote, well-researched, organized, and communicated. It reads like a professional publication. Details about this intervention idea are well supported with evidence-based literature, and the scope and approach of the intervention are well grounded. The members of this winning team are Sujata Kinashi, Kamal Patel, and Samantha Sadler. Could you please come down? And, and they were advised by Dr. Dennis Clements. Yay. 
congratulations on your outstanding project. <laughs> Dennis, those brownies probably helped. <laughs> Our last award is for Outstanding Undergraduate Teaching Award. As you can all see, and as you've heard, we have amazing students. And now let's recognize one of the professors who have helped prepare them. This year's awardee of the Outstanding Undergraduate Program Professor Award absolutely embodies the word outstanding. This professor is widely recognized by students for dedication to mentoring, friendly dis disposition, and passion for work. I'm talking about Dr. Charlie Nunn. Just a minute. Well, come up here, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie is Professor of Evolutionary Anthropology and, Gold, uh, and Global Health and Director of the um, Triangle Center for Evolutionary Medicine and Editor-in-Chief of the Academic Journal Evolution, Medicine, and Public Health. He teaches courses on evolutionary approaches to um, understanding human health and global health at a global scale and on the epidemiology and evolution of infectious diseases, focusing on wild primates, humans, and other mammals. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. <laughs>